One of the most missed features in Android Wear 2.0 is the ability to use the hardware button to enter theater mode. Bubble Cloud Launcher Watch Face helps with this uh, because it remaps the hardware button, long press, uh, to enable a special theater mode. You can already see it on the screen. In this special theater mode, the screen does not turn off completely, but it's dimmed below the regular level. So it is not distracting and screen touches are disabled. I can touch the screen anywhere and it's not going to open apps or make any changes in the watch. And I can exit theater mode by long pressing the hardware button again. And then I'm back to the um, touches and everything else. But this is only one of the things that can be mapped to the hardware button. In the settings application, there is this new section uh, called long press button. And you can see there is a long list of things here. I can uh, also lock the screen without dimming it. We also have the sunlight mode. In sunlight mode, if we long press the button, the screen brightness is increased to the maximum brightness temporarily until the next time the screen turns off. Then the watch returns to original setting. You see now the screen dimmed to ambient. When I wake it up, it goes back to that lower level, which it was. Other things we can assign to this hardware button is the ability to start the timer, for example. So if you're a doctor or nurse and you need this special timer often you can assign it to this hardware button i long press the button and i entered the special ambient mode with the sweeping seconds hand and it also records the time i entered it vibrates at every 15 seconds or every minute depending on how i set it up so that's another thing i can assign to this button and you would think, how will I choose? There are so many useful options that can be assigned to this button. No need to choose. You can assign several at the same time. So I can say I want theater mode and a second press will bring me sunlight mode. Now the two functions are assigned. If I long press, it will enter this dimmed theater mode and touches are prevented. On the other hand, if I long press it twice, one, Two, then we enter the high brightness mode and the screen is not locked. It is also possible to assign any application to the button press. Here I'm going to assign this sleep tracking application to the long press of the button. I long press on this bubble to bring up the bubble edit screen where I can change which cloud, the archive or the favorite will have this bubble or whether I want it to show up in the ambient screen or not and change the position and size of this bubble. But if I scroll up, I can assign any live info to this bubble. And if I scroll further, you will see this new command long press button. I can choose whether I want to assign this application to a single long press or double long press. I choose single here. Also, it is possible to assign tasker tasks. Here are my tasker buttons and if I long press on them, the same screen comes up and I can assign this one, for example, to the two long presses. Going back to settings, we will see these two actions assigned. Single long press of the button brings or starts sleep tracking. Two times long pressing the button will initiate the task or task. If you use bubble clouds in app drawer mode, let's say, with a different watch face, you might want to assign different functions. You can, for example, assign the app drawer to this button. So long pressing the button will open the app drawer and pressing it two times will enter theater mode. This is an option. If I assign the app drawer to the hardware button, I can hide the handle completely and just use uh, the hardware button to open my uh, app drawer. So let's see. Here on my watch face, I can long press the hardware button and here's my app drawer. And pressing the button again will exit the app drawer. Or if you press two times 
on the hardware button, you enter the special theater mode that we talked about. This is the secondary function to it. And now I unlocked it again, app drawer, and I can go to the settings and all of these can be arranged here. If you want your original function back, you can assign the voice search to a secondary press. So we have the app drawer on single press and voice search on double press. I can exit from here, long press and long press again, and we enter uh, the assistant right there. Long press once and it gives me the app drawer. Long press again and it exits. In case you want to return your watch to its original setting, I can simply select the default, which turns off the remapping of this hardware button completely. And then we are back to the default settings. Long pressing the hardware button takes us to the Google Assistant.